Welcome back. So far, we've only seen one of the primitive types. We've been working with number. We talked about numbers, how they work, different numeric operators who made variables with numbers, but there are multiple other primitive types, and we're gonna address them. So first of all, we're gonna talk about Boolean very quickly. It's uh, a simple, short, and easy primitive type to discuss, and then we'll come back to strings in the next video. So Booleans are simply true or false values. There's only two options if you're using a Boolean, true or false, they are very efficient as far as how much space they take up because there's only two options and we use them all the time. And the main reason for that will become clearer later on once we talk about logic and how we write logic using JavaScript. So true or false, we can make a variable with them. That's it, to make a Boolean, it looks like this. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and type true, that is a Boolean and you can type false, that's it. No quotes around them. If you're familiar with strings, this is not a Boolean. It says the word true, but it is not the Boolean true. This is special, as you can see here. Just like with numbers, we can store Boolean values in a variable. So here are three examples. Let is logged in equals true. It starts out as true, and potentially it would be false later on if someone logs out. We have let game over equals false. So the game starts, game over is false, it's not over. And then the user dies or does something bad in the game, and so game over becomes true. And then const is water wet equals true. I use const here because is water wet should not change. Hopefully, water should always be wet. And that's it, we can make a variable just like that. So we'll do one example, keep it short. Let's do is hungry, and I'll set that to true. And we look at is hungry, it's true, surprise. And we're using let, so we could set it to false. There we go. The only other thing I'll talk about in this video, a very important topic in JavaScript, or an important idea, is that variables can change type. If you have experience with any other programming language, well, maybe not any other, but many other languages, when you declare a variable and you make it a number, it needs to stay a number. In JavaScript, there is no restriction on that. We can change a number to a Boolean at any point. That's not saying it's a good idea at all. In fact, it's one of the things a lot of people don't like about JavaScript, and it's why things like TypeScript exist. If you're familiar with TypeScript, if you've heard the word or the name, it is uh, built on top of JavaScript and it adds in stricter rules. And one of those rules is that your variables cannot change type. So I could make a Boolean variable, let is hungry, I already have that one, I'll get an error if I redeclare it. Let's do let is angry set to false. And then I could change is angry to now be one, two, three, nine, no problem. So again, not something that you usually would do or that really makes a lot of sense, but it's possible in JavaScript. And other than that, the main takeaway is that we can have variables of all sorts of types in JavaScript. We've only seen numbers so far, but now we've covered our second primitive type, Boolean. True and false, that's it.